Hey, what's up guys? As I'm Mark Yoon, and today I'm bringing another hopefully exciting video. So what I got for you today is a little bit of a somber tune, but um, I wanted to get some things straight and answer a few questions. So it was revealed on Twitter earlier today that um, Motohiro Okobo, which is the lead producer of uh, Soul Calibur 6 and also recently Pac-Man 99, uh, is leaving Bandai Namco. So here is the official tweet that I will show on screen right here. And then I also have the translation prepared for you. I'm going to have to read this verbatim, so let me uh, look at the phone while I'm doing this. Uh, he says, It's been a while, but I will leave Bandai Namco Entertainment on August 31st. From tomorrow, I'll be working at a game company located in Shibuya. 25 years ago, I joined the former Namco and met various people. I am grateful to all the people I've met, especially through Soul Calibur VI. I received uh, enormous power from players all over the world. Thank you very much. I'd like to show various goods I received from everyone, but there are too many. Allow me to show 9 million units cushion received last week uh, from the development team of Tekken and Soul Calibur. Once again, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Um, <clears throat> so, especially in uh, my community and around um, Twitter and some things, I've seen people asking such questions such as, what does this bode for Soul Calibur as a whole? Um, and since Okubo is leaving, does that mean that there's going to be no Soul Calibur 7? And I wanted to make this video to kind of clear these things up. So first, let's get to what his job title is. He's the executive producer, right? So the executive producer is very important, but they're not necessarily um, like in charge of the art department or anything like that. They're not the director. What they do is they put together a team uh, that they believe can handle the tasks that are allotted to them. And um, they're pretty much the glue that keeps everyone together. Um, and they raise funds for the game. Um, uh, they handle uh, budget. and you know, they, like They're like kind of the talking piece to the publisher. So they do do a lot of things, and they're very important. However, this doesn't mean that um, Soul Calibur 7 is going to lose any of its original vision. It doesn't mean that it's going to change in any more important way. That would be up to mainly the director. Um, who is directly in communication with the executive producer, honestly. So whoever is the new producer on the game, uh, I'm sure is going to pick up where Motohiro Okubo left off and leave the team to do their jobs as they see fit. Now, whether anybody else leaves as a result of this is really up in the air, and uh, who can say at this point? Um, obviously, if like the art director leaves or if the regular director leaves or anything like that, the game can see differences in the future. But if mostly everyone stays on and the executive producer changes, then we shouldn't see too much of a variation in the next game. Um, again, this is not to say that Motohiro Okubo was not important. He was the one that put together the new Project Soul after the last one disbanded. Uh, he was the one that went to Bandai Namco and begged to get Soul Calibur 6 made. He's the one that made the deal for a million units for the Soul Calibur 7 sequel. Uh, he built up the funds, uh, talked to all the people for the guest characters. Uh, he was very, very important. But this doesn't mean that it's over right like and people can still contact him at his next company to ask basic like questions like well where did you see this going or something and like usually these people have scripts already done um and just going based on how uh season two ended and the script for that uh it leads it to an almost uh logical conclusion like we know like where the story's headed um maybe some of the variations uh, variations will change but the writers of the game are still there uh, they're still going to execute the original story. Um, like I said, whether some changes do come about from this, it's anyone's guess, but I don't really think that there will be too many. Um, it is sad to see him leave Bandai Namco, but uh, I think he was a great producer for Soul Calibur 6 and did a lot of good things. But I'm excited for the future of Soul Calibur as a franchise and to see what changes may come in the future and uh, what happens with 7. But um, I do want to wish Lodi Hero Okubo the best... Um, in his future endeavors, and I hope he finds a new home at this new company in Shibuya, and he is exponentially rewarded through uh, you know, financial means and meeting new people and things of that nature. Uh, with that being said, guys, I just wanted to clear this up. Um, it doesn't mean that 
Soul Calibur 7 is over. It does not mean that anything is exponentially going to derive from this or any major changes are going to affect the future of production. Uh, it just means that one person's journey at this company has come to an end, and I'm sure the next person will pick up where they left off. Um, again, I'm not saying he wasn't important, but there's other factors and other people in the development team that would more greatly affect the overall product, like the writer or the director of the art team. Uh, but with that being said, we're going to bring this video to a close. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, I have a very special live stream coming up, I believe, this Sunday, where I'm actually going to uh, have a bunch of my subscribers on. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. Uh, and there's a little bit of lore videos coming up also, because uh, I got some new stuff from um, from SolarFly95. So with that being said, we're going to bring this video to a close. And as always, I love it. Thank you. And thank you.